everybody. I'm John, and this is my channel, Elite Gamers United. This is a very special video I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm actually here to show uh, everybody my collector's edition storage room vault uh, grand tour. I'm going to be going over every collector's edition in here. Now, there are some things that are not necessarily collector's editions. I'm, I'm staying away from those. I am not even touching on them. Maybe one or two, because I think they're cool. Uh, I don't have a cameraman, so I'm going to be doing the best to show what I got, point it out, talk very briefly about it. I'm not going into um, current value or anything. I'm not talking about what it's worth, what it cost, what it was cost then, what it's worth now. I'm just showing what I have. That's all. Uh, I'm also just going to give a brief overview about my uh, about collector's editions to me. So let's start by... Uh, Collector's Editions really became a big thing where almost every major uh, release title started getting a special version, uh, Collector's Edition, Master Box Deluxe Edition, Unlimited Version, whatever you want to call it, uh, pretty much in the late 2000s, early 2010s. That's when it became real prevalent. Before that, you'd be hard-pressed to find a Collector's Edition PS1, Sega Saturn, N64 title. And for PS1, I can only think of like a handful. Um, and for the most part, like Lunar, Silver Star Story Complete, and Eternal Blue Complete. From what I've ever seen, especially when they first came out, when I got them, those games um, only came in that variety. There was no just box only, you know, disc plastic case and booklet, it would, at least to my knowledge. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do the best to point out what I have. I may pick the camera up, bring it over. Uh, so I'm starting right over here. I'm going to just give you guys a real broad view of the room just to show you what's in here. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of money in here. But this, this is my pride, my joy of my collection. I find it a lot of fun to collect the collector's editions. Uh, I do look at this as an investment. I do plan on either passing these to my children when I have them or using it as retirement. Or if I have an untimely death, uh, I want them in a museum. You know, that that's just what I want. Okay, so let's start over here. Again, I'm doing the best I can. Not having somebody holding the camera. Just using my little stand. Come on, you bastard. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm taking it with me. Okay, so... Let's start right over here. I'm going to flip the camera. Boom. Actually, I don't think I can flip it while uh, in this mode. Okay, anyway. Starting down here. Actually, I'm going to do a quick cut. All right. And also, those of you that know me know I like to do my videos in one shot. No cuts. This is going to be one of those rare exceptions. And it, with my upcoming review for Owlboy, I will be uh, shouting out to my new subscribers. So don't worry, guys. I will give you a recognition. And we are on our way to 600 subscribers. I'm at like 516, 517. So if you guys enjoy my content, pass my channel around to your friends. Tell me who they are, and I'll shout them right out. All right. So let's get into it. Okay. Right over here. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This collector's edition I thought was really cool. It's in a good, solid box. It's good material. Not like these with these over sleeves, uh, these slip sleeves. I really despise that. And especially when they have these little tape things. Sometimes they just come off. I also wanted to mention, 90% of all these are sealed from factory. The only ones I've opened were ones that I just wanted to get the game out of in the past. But I don't do that anymore. I just buy a separate copy. So, sorry, back to this. All right. So, we got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for Xbox One. Really good game. I think everybody should check that out. This is actually, uh, this is one of my gems. Kingdoms of Amalur, Re-Reckoning, Xbox One, Factory Sealed. Darksiders Genesis, Xbox One, Factory Sealed. That one, that was an expensive one. And, uh, well, it, it's, again, a lot of these are still too new. There are a handful of newer collector's editions that really jumped in value. Again, I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but um, we're looking over at you, Resident Evil 7 with the house. Uh, anyway, in the box right next to it, I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It packages the game separately, which is cool. And the collector's edition itself is right underneath in its own box. 
I kept any ones that came that I didn't buy in store that were shipped here. I kept the shipping boxes because I, I like it. <laughs> right behind it, I have my Xbox One version of... Hang on, let me just see this back up. Come on, basket. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Xbox One version of Sekiro. Again, I said I wasn't going to talk value. $90 when it came out brand new. It's cracked over... Th it's over 300 now. Again, and it's a really solid collector's edition. And I did a video. I'll put that in the links uh, at the end of the video. Um, that where I examined it and did a let's look. <clears throat> over here. Sonic Mania Xbox One. A wonderful Sonic title. Oh, the only problem is just a little bit of dust. But you know what? Dust means it's dry in here. And dry is good. Dust just be wiped off. Not a problem. Actually, I got to come in here one day and do that. But it's not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Anyway, dry is good. Right behind that, I have the Assassin's Creed 3 for the 360 limited edition. This one I opened to get the game out. Not going to lie. Right next to it, I believe this is Assassin's Creed Unity. Again, another one I opened just to get the game out. Right next to that, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Don't think I opened that one to get the game out. Uh, right over here, uh, the first Doom 2016 uh, remake. Well, uh, Doom re uh, re uh, reimagining, whatever you want to call it. Um, ooh. Ooh, hey, yeah, I got to get in here one day with a dry rag. Anyway, Doom 2016 Collector's Edition. Down over here. I'll tell you, this is a surprisingly not a bad game. Tron Evolution Collector's Edition. That's sealed, and Doom is sealed. Let's make our way over here. Xbox One version of Tekken 7. This one, again, factory sealed. I bought a separate copy. This one I got for my birthday last year from my mom. Thank you, Mom. Xenoblade Chronicles for the Switch Collector's Edition. Right under it, this monstrosity. This is one of probably my longest collector's edition. Darksiders 3 Apocalypse Edition. Really good game. Don't listen to the reviews. Uh, again, factory sealed. Uh, do, uh, Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. Factory sealed. That's just a PS4 Pro box, a Switch box. I have two of these, Saints Row the Third. This one I bought, I got for Christmas. Uh, it was the last one in the store. I remember my mom got it for me. Had the goddamn sticker on it. But this one I opened to get the game out. However, I ordered one last summer. And it's right over there, if you could see it. Which came from Amazon. Perfectly uh, beautiful shape. Uh, with the exception of a little puncture in the damn plastic, but whatever, it was the last one. And that one is totally sealed, unopened. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate on this, but you know what? Mighty Number no. 9, We Hardly Knew Ye, Signature Edition, Factory Sealed. That's just a Gears of War board game. Uh, I got two copies of it. One opened, I played, and one I kept sealed. Bioshock, the original Bioshock, Limited Edition. I did open it to get the game out back in the day. Underneath there, we got Halo, uh, I want to say that's Halo Reach. I can't even tell on some of them. Halo Reach, Collector's Edition. Then I got Street Fighter V, the original release of it. Factory sealed. This was actually a cool Collector's Edition. Came with a really nice statue. That one's sealed. And here, Gears of War 4, Factory sealed. Uh, <laughs> I know people didn't like this game, but whatever. Duke Nukem Forever, Balls of Steel Edition. Again, on the 360, that one is factory sealed. Just want to let everybody know, most of my games I prefer, uh, I collect for, I prefer on the Xbox platform, unless it's only on another fo uh, format. So in that case, I'll get it on PS4 or Switch or whatever it may be. And then we have right here, uh, in my Sega Saturn Netlink, still works. I got South Park, Stick of Truth. The Grand Wizard Edition. Ooh. Right over here, this is Steel Battalion. I wish I kept Steel Battalion sealed. The pedals are over there and the uh, the controller. Batman Arkham uh, Asylum Collector's Edition. Not a great Collector's Edition, but still the game was awesome. That one I opened to get the game out. Let's make our way around over here. A great controller. My friend Joey got this for me for my birthday uh, back in 08. 
uh, 20th anniversary Street Fighter uh, Ken controller for the 360. It's pack three sealed. <laughs> yeah, I got it really dust in here. I apologize, everybody. The Arkham City Collector's Edition. Terrible packaging, terrible box, cool statue. I opened it to get the game out. Here's that other Saints Row. This one, I actually, my review tonight, let me just wipe this off with my shirt. Oh, dust. Owlboy, limited edition for the PS4. Uh, I'll tell you my thoughts to the game in my review later on for the Switch. But again, the, there's really minimal difference between the three versions. Of, I think there's an Xbox version. Not sure. In that brown box right underneath, this is probably bigger than my Titanfall uh, collector's edition. That is the Shadow of War, uh, Lord of the Ring, you know, the Shadow of War Mithril edition. If we come out over here, I got a Neo Geo X Gold. That has been open because I played it. Really cool machine. I don't care what anybody says. My Samba de Amigo Maracas, that was open for, back in 2000 for Christmas. Uh, I played it. Skyrim, I did open this collector's edition to get the game out uh, back when I got it. I apologize for the dust. I'm actually really upset about this now. Modern Warfare 2, I opened it to use the night vision goggles. Uh, really, really cool collector's edition. One of the coolest ones for its time. Right over here, excuse me, Xbox Series X con uh, console box. Ghost of Tsushima sealed. Uh, PS4 collector's edition with a really cool mask. I have two copies of Street Fighter IV's collector's edition. One I opened to get the game out. And this one is factory sealed. And then I got Max Payne 3, the collector's edition right there for the 360. That was opened to get the game out. Comes with a really cool statue and uh, pictures of painkillers and needles and uh, all those other uh, cool drug paraphernalia stuff. Down over here, that is a factory sealed Street Fighter 4. Uh, arcade, uh, Hori Arcade Stick, or it's either Hori or Sun with Denshi, I don't remember. Never opened it, left it as is. That is probably one of the few controllers I have that's uh, worth a pretty penny. Over here, Xbox One, for honor, collector's edition. Totally sealed, unopened. Next to it, Mortal Kombat 11, Xbox One. Uh, factory sealed as well, collector's edition. Down over here. Borderlands, uh, the Diamond Loot Chest Edition. That was an expensive one. That factory sealed, never opened. <clears throat> Over here, this is my, let me just turn it properly, my Cyberpunk Xbox One X. Uh, that was technically the last mass, well, semi mass produced uh, collector's machine or custom Xbox One X machine. So yes, that one, oh man, I I prayed that I was able to get through for the order, and I did when I did. All right, this also is factory sealed with a stupid slip sleeve. I hate them. Now, right in this long box right here, this beauty. I don't care what anybody says about the game. I never played it. SpongeBob, the battle for Bikini Bottom, rehydrated, super mega ultra happy fun edition. Uh, I do actually want to buy this game and check it out. Well, again, I'm not a big Spongebob fan, but just out of curiosity. Right behind it, Xbox One version of Resident Evil 2. I had the Resident Evil 3 Collector's Edition ordered, but COVID hit, the stores were closed, and I got screwed on that order. I don't want to talk about it. It's just going to get me upset and real bent. Next to it, Gears of War 5, Xbox One, of course. Uh, Collector's Edition, factory sealed, never opened. Next behind that... Oh, I missed this one. This is uh, one of my prize pieces. The Xbox One Borderlands uh, Claptrap Edition. Uh, Handsome Jack Collection Claptrap Edition. I don't even remember what the fuck it's called. The Handsome Jack Collection with the Claptrap. That is, uh, those of you that know anything about the Borderlands Collector's Editions, uh, they, they fetch a high price. Next to that, Halo 3 Collector's Edition. That I opened to get the game out. Not going to lie. Bioshock Infinity. I opened that as well to get the game out, the Ultimate Songbird Edition. But that one, m money wise, is pretty much worth about what it cost. Above it, the Titanfall. Don't ask. I don't want to talk about why it's ripped, but there is a very sad, depressing reason why this is destroyed. Uh, those of you that know my private life, my personal life, my family, know what happened, and blah, 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 blah. 
right on top. Uh, Factory Sealed, Mortal Kombat X, uh, Scorpion. I think there was two different versions. I'm not sure. I know in Europe they had a different one. Uh, Xbox One, Collector's Edition, Factory Sealed. Titanfall is not Factory Sealed. I opened it to get the game out. Right over here, we have Death Stranding, PS4 Collector's Edition, Factory Sealed. Um, um, yeah, Death Stranding. Next to that, I got this one at Best Buy. La Mulana, I was trying to find on the Xbox, impossible to find. This is one of the few uh, collector's editions that this uh, company, that NIS America, released also on the Xbox. That's one of the few. Now up here, these are a bunch of, in my opinion, rarer games that I just kept sealed. Recent uh, uh, Obtaination, G.I. Joe Blacklist. Operation Black. I have a feeling in years to come that's going to be worth money. I'm I'm just rolling the dice. Hey, what was it? Thirty bucks. Big deal. I have a copy opened in my room, which I play. Uh, Shining Residence Refrain. I don't care anybody says this is actually a really good game. Then I have this. I got when I worked at Acura. This was on the Acura store that we could spend our points on. Uh, Hyper Devotion. Hyper Devotion War. Goddess Blackheart. All these Hyper Devotion, Hyper Dimension, PlayStation Vita games. I never owned a Vita. I don't plan to. Uh, these, <laughs> a lot of these Vita games are worth some dough. I have the only two copies that were on Long Island of You Know for PS4. I kept one sealed. I have the Sega Saturn version of my room, which is unplayable because I can't read Japanese. I kept one sealed and I played one. Then I got Metal Wolf uh, Chaos PS4. I kept that sealed. This was from the Acura store. I was I never really played I never actually played any of the Atelier games, but you know what? I figured I got it on the Acura store. It's a lesser common uh, PS3 RPG. Atelier Shally Alchemist of the Dusk Sea. I kept that sealed. My uh, ex girlfriend now, uh, Mary Ellen, got me this for my birthday a few years ago. Little Nightmares Xbox One. I kept this sealed. Underneath those is the Bioshock Special Edition for Bioshock 2 that came with the record. Over here, Blaster Master Zero 2, Switch, Factory Sealed. One, two, I have two other copies of Cooking Mama Cookstar, Factory Sealed. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies of Mario 3D All-Stars. One I opened, and the other seven I kept Factory Sealed. This is quite possibly the worst packaging of a collector's edition ever. This is Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Uh, I never played it. I heard it's a really good fighting game. But look at this shit show, that the way they put this thing together. So I just keep that as is. You know, I don't even know what's in the box under it, but I'll tell you in a second. I'm going to make my way through it. Hang on. I apologize, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right, Dr. Nick. Um, what the hell is that? You know what? I don't even know what it is. I'm sure everybody's now going to be curious to find out. So let's find out. Let me just gently move everything off here. Okay, get you out of the way. Get you guys out of the way and get you out of the way. Ah, huh. Halo 5 Guardians. Uh... Xbox One Collector's Edition, Factory Sealed, never opened it. Bought a separate copy to play, of course. Let's close you back up. Oh, shit. And I kept it in a shipping container. Sorry, my phone fell, guys. I apologize. Hey, I'm doing the best I can not having a cameraman here. So, bear with me. Move you guys back there. And you back there. Okay. Now, down here, I hope you guys can see, I have Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. I opened that to get the game out years ago. Next to it is the Collector's Edition of Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy XIII. I loved thirteen and thirteen too. I did not like that game. I tried, I tried, I tried. Uh, factory Sealed. Next to that, Final Fantasy Type O HD Collector's Edition, Xbox One. Factory Sealed, really good game. Check that out if you guys have a chance. Right over here, I have two copies of this. Ori and the Will of the Wisps for the Xbox One. This one is sealed. The other one I opened to get the game out. Right over here, in this little box, is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the Black Edition, which has the night vision goggles. This is the newest Call of Duty from 2017. 
uh, that Modern Warfare. Right underneath that, Soul Calibur, or behind it, Soul Calibur 6, factory sealed, unopened. Behind that, uh, it's one of the Far Cries. I want to say it's Far Cry 3. No, 4. Far Cry 4, that I opened to get the game out. None of the Far Cry collector's editions go anywhere, so I'm really not upset about it. Under La Mulana, right here. Oh, this one is the Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, no, not Wildlands. Uh, which one is this? Um, well, it's either the uh, Santa Muerte edition uh, from uh, Wildlands or the Breakpoint Wolves edition. It's one of those two. I have them both. Right here, this, Destiny, Xbox three, uh, Xbox One, Ghost Edition. Very hard to find, factory sealed. PS4, Yakuza Remastered Collection, factory sealed. I'm um, trying to find Psycho Shooting Stars Alpha. Uh, this is also for the Switch, Collector's Edition. Or maybe it's just Standard Edition, I don't know. But factory sealed. Underneath there, ah, here we go, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, this is a collector's edition for Breakpoint. I'm not even going to open that up. I did a video on it. Okay, put you guys back. These are just as a PS4 empty box. That's my Saturn box. Saturn's hooked up my room. There's my Game Boy uh, Advance games. This right here is the Cyberpunk collector's edition for the Xbox One. Factory sealed. Not open. I have the game separately. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Didn't care for it. I really wanted to, and I tried my hardest. Okay, over there is a Titanfall 2 Vanguard Edition, a Marauder Core Edition. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't get the one with the helmet. Nobody was able to find it anywhere. That's factory sealed. Next to that is Call of Duty Black Ops, the little remote control car, the Prestige Edition. That's factory sealed. Let me go around, and we'll pick up over there. Down over here, I have Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, this is the Battle Something Edition. Uh, Memories from Battle Premium Edition. That I kept. I couldn't find it on the three, uh, the Xbox One. This is my Shenmue 3 Collector's Edition in there. I can see uh, Shenwa right there. These are all my sealed vinyl uh, albums. I'll do a separate video on those. But uh, yeah, those are actually really cool. <laughs> Probably one of the cleanest conditioned NES boxes. Of course, it's been open since 1990, of course. This thing is in damn near mint flawless condition. Okay. I got two Lancers, three Lancers. I got a Gears 5 Lancer, factory sealed. Gears 4 Lancer, factory sealed. And the Gears 2 slash 3. Sorry, the video cut again. Uh, the Gears 2 slash 3 Lancer, factory sealed. Right there is my Resident Evil 7 Collector's Edition on Xbox One. That's also factory sealed. Down here is my Call of Duty. Uh, I forgot which one, but it's the one that has the drone. This is the box. Uh, that I opened because I really wanted to try the drone out. This, unfortunately, it is technically sealed. The giant hard plastic that it was wrapped in when it shipped was torn. So I just took it off. However, I only opened it once. This is the Wolfenstein New Order collector's box. Did not come with the game. I have opened it, but I never looked through it. I never touched anything, but I will show you. I have $29.88 out of $5,000 made. I'm just going to give you guys a peek of what's in here. Uh, and there's more underneath. And I'm closing it. This is actually probably one of my... Uh, one of my... Uh, Real, real, real deal gems right here. If you guys know your history on that collector's edition. Up here, Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. I have two edition, two copies. One I opened to get the game out. And then one my sister gave me, which I kept sealed. Now, if we go back down here, I'm going to do my best to show you guys what's down there. Right over there, that silver box. That was the collector's edition for Robotech Battlecry on the OG Xbox. That was a game that really everybody had a lot of high hopes for being awesome. And it was above mediocre at best. Next to that is one of my favorite collector's editions. That's the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance um, with the uh, plasma light. My favorite Splinter Cell game, Splinter Cell Blacklist uh, 360. That one is 
opened. I to get the game out, of course. That one has a remote control cargo plane, which is really cool. All right, let me uh, let me come back around. Oh, Metal Gear Solid Four P version of PS3. Uh, long story about that one. Here's my N64 box. Pretty decent shape, minus the corners, whatever. No big deal. People still want it. Good luck finding a lot of N64 games to original boxes. I still got mine. Right over here, we have Fallout. Uh, that was the anthology for the PC. Apparently, that was very hard to find. I got it in the store. The box underneath it, I don't know what's in there. Uh, and I know there's a couple of collector's editions I did not touch upon. And I don't know where they are. Uh, specifically, Fire Emblem. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yes, here we go. Here's what I missed. There's another. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. This. Oh, my God. I waited so long for this. There's two games in here, and I kept them both sealed. Okay, right here. Pan's Dragoon Remake for the Switch, factory sealed, and the Sega Saturn boxed sw uh, Switch version of the remake from Limited Run, factory sealed, with the two trading cards that came with it. So, those are staying factory sealed. I'm sorry, guys, I'm just going to put this back. I try to keep everything neat and tidy. This video is really not uh, about narration or anything. It's just to show you guys what I have. That's all. And I'm proud of this. I'm proud of my collection. Here we go. Fire Emblem Three Houses Collector's Edition for the Switch. Unopened. Factory sealed. Boom. Okay. Now, like I said, there are other things in here that uh, I didn't touch upon. That would be its own separate video. But I'm going to give you guys one last little... Uh, one last little really cool thing I have in here, which was a bitch to get home. I see you guys all see that thing with the garbage bag covering it. Well, let's go on over. This, well, this was put on that to cover it for a reason. This is the Final Fantasy 15 and Shadow of, I mean, uh, I think Rise of the Tomb Raider. Promotional stand-up, double-sided stand-up from GameStop. This was a nightmare. I literally had to stick a big portion of it out the window of my car. And I rode out with my shoulder and half my torso hanging out of the driver's side. Oh my god. Who put tape on here? Oh no. Yeah, it's not in the mint, it's not in perfect shape. But you know what? I don't care. You find somebody else who has this. Covered. Yeah, I really like this. Because I enjoyed Final Fantasy XV. I really did. Uh, what else? All these bins here, most of them have uh, factory sealed Lord of the Rings figures. Here's an Atari controller. Uh, what the hell's in here? Oh, my Game Boy Advance titles. My Game Boy Advance, which doesn't work. If anybody can fix the backlight. Please let me know. I'll send it to you. I'll pay you. Fix it and return it. Thank you. Oh, I missed these also. Uh, the last story for the uh, Wii. Great game. Use the classic control if you're going to play it, though. And next to that, Final Fantasy XIII 2. It is not factory sealed, nor is the last story, because I opened them to play them. However, they're not <laughs> hyper, mega, ultra rare, so I, uh, I really didn't feel bad about opening them. Anyway, that's pretty much my big box collector's edition room. I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And, um, you know, tell me your thoughts. And if any of you guys have big box collector's edition rooms, again, I don't try to buy every single big box collector's edition out there. I really don't. Only for games I truly enjoy, for games I know I'm going to play that I'll buy a separate copy of. And, again... I, I do roll the dice with these in terms of an, as an investment, if I, if it's going to go up in value or not. I mean, I could pull a handful of things in here that definitely skyrocket in value. And I could pull a handful of things in here that don't... I'm looking at you, Wolfenstein 2, that uh, pretty much uh, aren't worth the paper that the boxes are printed on. But anyway, it has value to me, and I'm very happy with my collection. 
Uh, I'm thankful for to my parents who've supported my hobby that bought me a bunch of these. I'm grateful to girlfriends of the past, current girlfriend uh, that's bought me a couple things in here, and to myself for working hard to, to get these, you know. This is my, like, like the, you know, the guys like John Hancock that have every single game. Yeah, you're a swindler, right, pal? Fuck you, John Hancock. And anybody who doesn't like John Hancock, give me a comment below. Uh, that guy's a gypsy, grifter, swindler, swine. Anyway, enough about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, my tour of this, of my uh, room here. And if you want to just get an idea of how far back down this room goes, <laughs> let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 feet across, and probably about 14 feet that way, whatever. It's a big room. I have a lot of stuff in here. Not going to lie, I do wish I had kept every single thing sealed, but I, again, I didn't really start getting into keeping them sealed until really about like five, four or five years ago. Then I keep every collector's edition sealed. I don't open nothing. I'll buy a separate copy, you know. But anyway, I'm John. This is my collector's room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to see some of your guys' collector's edition rooms or just your collections in general. Send me some links. Send me videos, please. Well, you know, let's let, enough with everybody envying and like being jealous of one another and feeling like. People are like, oh, he he he's he he's got he's got more than me. Like, like, why should we feel threatened by each other? We should all be happy for each other and supporting and supportive of each other. Like, yo, yo, John, man, yo, you got a really cool collection there. Yo, dude, so do you, man. You got stuff I wish I had. But you know what? They're, these are gamers we're dealing with. I mean, I'm a gamer, <laughs> and uh, a lot of collectors they feel threatened by other people that have big collections, maybe even bigger collections than theirs, and I never understood that. Anyway, I'm John, this is my channel, Elite Gamers United, thank you all for your support, let's get to 600 subscribers, and I'll see you later with my Owlboy review. Check you later, everybody.